how you to today we just did a little cut uh to show y'all a tutorial on how to cut some curly hair in the mid fade um just let me know how i did break the scale from one to ten put it in the comment section let me know how it is so um yeah we're gonna get right back on the grind um i'm gonna try to do a video every month not every month every week um just because i want to get on the grind um now that i actually got time and Life's been hard, but hey, bro, it's been good. And then just been thankful that I'm still alive. Um, it's a little hard, bro, but hey, this is a video of redemption. This is showing them that, hey, like, just because you're hard, bro, doesn't mean that you need to stop doing what you're doing. Just keep eating, keep grinding, keep showing all the love to all your clients, man. You gotta express your emotions sometimes, so yeah, but if y'all enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Um, shout out to all y'all. Stay blessed. So as you can see, my boy, we're doing the fade today, and what we're going to do, man, we're going to start off with uh, saturating the hair, make sure all his curls are straight, and we're going to try not to cut down this mushroom type haircut, you can say, but he loves his curls, but we're, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of overgrowth, and we're trying to knock all that down. Now, right now we're putting our middle section in and as you can see we're just cutting off most of the dead ends he didn't want a lot off but i told him on the side that's where we're gonna have to cut most of it but we're starting with our middle section and then we're gonna work our way from the middle all the way to the right and to the left y'all can see um if y'all are still struggling in like um scissor work i recommend just getting a mannequin and just cutting and learning different types of haircuts through long hair it took me a while to get understanding of what i'm doing and i mean I, to this day i'm still learning so all the beginners out there man just 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 go trust the process really and make sure that man y'all enjoying it and don't overthink anything So right now, doing is we're debulking, but we're also making sure that the parietal ridge is still connected to the sides. So we have a three guard on and we're just going straight up. We're sitting in our ball line. We're just making sure that this is our first guideline and we're making it neat and starting the process of the fade. So right now I recommend not to go all the way up with the shaver. Stay below the line. Uh, you don't want to set in a harsh guideline. Now we're on to the next step, which is going up finger length, length, opened all the way, and making sure all of it's the same length going around the head. And we're doing the same step with the number one guard. It just we're going up further. Just following the same thing, um, going over multiple times, making sure everything's the same length. Now that we got our half guard on, uh, we're going to knock out that second guy line from the, from the open to the one. And what we're doing is just we're going up the same side, the half guard, and we're slowly closing it every time we go down.
So now what we're doing is we're closed the lever all the way closed and we're opening slowly every time we go up just making sure that we're getting this bottom guy lined out. Now that we got our one and a half guard, we're just gonna go up, open. Um, it should slowly blend in because we did use a three, but if there is, is setting harsh guidelines, then you kind of have to close it. But as you can see, we have to detail and we're gonna use our corners of this one guard and we're gonna make sure it's all blended out. So with clip over comb, uh, what you're doing is you're just pulling out the hairs that are overgrowth. As you can see, there's a lot in the back. Due to curls, they do curl up, but at the same time, that's why I got them straight, just to see what's overgrowth. It's hard to do this clipper over comb, so you're gonna have practice. I recommend to start to do on mannequins first. And I mean, like I said, you see I can detail. I do a lot of detailing in this cut because there's a lot of dark spots in his head. So there's gonna be a lot of detailing. Now on this side we're doing the same steps. It's gonna be a little, now that we know that it's gonna be a little difficult with detailing and stuff, we're gonna knock it out pretty easier. Knowing that you know the hair growth, you know and what it's like uh, being on the one side to another. Not every side is perfect, but nearly you can understand that they have the same growth and everything. So with that, I just recommend to keep following the same steps. These are the same steps so I don't change it up or anything. Right here in this area, I, what I should have did is debulked a little bit more. As you can see, I'm still going up using the same steps, but as you can see, you can barely see the fade, so I wish I would have debulked a little bit more. If you're still watching this, I thank y'all for supporting me. It's very, very, very important for me to get an understanding of what y'all like. Um, y'all can comment in the section, you know, how this haircut is coming out. I mean, give me some pointers and give me criticism. I mean, like I said, it's the whole whole idea why I want to do this stuff. It's just be a content creator. I mean, getting people's understandings. And I mean, personally, I just a different thing that many barbers do. Um, it's very difficult to record and cut hair at the same time with the busy schedule. So all the respected YouTubers out there that post content daily is, man, it's respect. So shout out to all of them, and then shout out to everybody that watches my videos. I mean, it's crazy to say, but I have came a long way from starting in my garage to here, and it's a blessing. 2023 is here, so let's get right to it, man. And I just want to say, hopefully y'all are subscribed, and more videos are coming out soon. Right now, it's just been a little rough patch, but we're getting back to it. So now in the comic section, if y'all are still wondering how I do my steps, um, just let me know. There's more videos out there that I do, but this is my, my mode of my same step. I got more clippers. Uh, if y'all want me to do more reviews on clippers, I mean, just anything really. Just please give me feedback, what y'all want to watch, what y'all want to hear. I mean, even see if y'all want to see daily lifestyle of my life. I mean, I like to vlog. I just... I mean, now that I got now that I got everything on my mind and I'm back in bed, I feel like that's something that I want to re really see from all y'all. This is kind of the hard part. The back is always going to be hard, I feel like, because there's so much hair and your density of your hair is more darker, so... You have to be careful. Um, I always say look at the back of the head and then look at the mirror, look at the back of the head. 
it's just something that I recommend for myself because you do get caught up in all the sauce and you get caught up with a blurry fade and you don't want to have lines in the head and stuff like that. So as you see, we're still doing the same steps we've been doing from zero to one to the one and a half and then knocking out those lines. I just feel like it's more convenient for me because then you can always worry about the top later. That's just my main focus. It's easier for me. I mean, everybody has different steps, so you just got to find your way. You got to find your rhythm. Anybody that's still trying to learn how to fade and stuff, I recommend, man, just watching somebody sp particular and the one only one person. I'm not saying don't go don't go just watch one person. I mean, there's everybody that has good advice. Everybody gives, I mean, everybody does a different way, but has same results. So I just recommend, you know, sticking to one person and learning about them and learning about what they're trying to do for you and what, what you're trying to do as an individual. There's a lot of people out there that help. So like I said, I'm not the only one on YouTube posting tutorials. There's a bunch of people. So just got to find your right one. As you can see, man, the fade is there. The fade is getting there, man. This is just a process. It took me years to understand this process. I mean, as you can see from my first video ever to this one, man, there's a whole difference. Even these clippers, man, like, some people say, you know, clippers are it's not it, whatever. You know, you don't, need, you don't need a good clipper to get a good fade. I understand that part, but, man, having a good utility of tools will help you get a better fade i feel like understanding your tools will get you a good fade um this is something that i feel like you can't switch up every time like yeah there's a whole bunch of people doing reviews on every single clipper but you know that's what they're showing you this is what they're showing y'all for is to show you how they cut whatever but in really daily life people go back to a clipper that's always worked for them i mean shoot even me like I'm about to go back to the Oscar Fast Speed corded just because, man, it's something that I always wanted. It's always worked for me and it never changed up for me. So that's why I feel like <clears throat> it's hard to change up on sometimes. Now we get into the edge up process. As you can see, his his edge up isn't really all there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna enhance it a little bit. I mean, he don't need it. As you can see, the fade is already there. It's already blurry. We just wanna add some color to it just so he can pop out his edge up. He asked me to. Um, I did it for the video, so why not? So all y'all enhancement haters don't say nothing, man. As you can see, his edge up is still clean, it's still natural. I mean, I didn't make it very dark to where it doesn't look like it's not natural at all. I just wanted everybody to see his edge up at the end of the day. So all the enhancement haters, y'all comment in the section why y'all hate this. But this is the final piece, man. Shout out to all y'all for watching this video, man. Stay blessed. Peace out. All love 2023.